So I've got a set of data here, and I want to find the standard deviation, the variance, and the mean. And I'm going to use a graphic calculator, and I'm going to use my Casio. So if I get my Casio up here. First of all, I want to be in the stat menu. So you need to press menu and then go to number two, which is the stat menu. So we're gonna to go to there. Now I've already got some data in here, so I'm gonna show you how to actually get rid of the data. So press that arrow, delete F1. Now that will delete all the data in that first list. So I'm gonna enter these into my first list. So that's minus five, minus three, zero, one, six, six, nine, and 10. And we'll just exit. We'll just go along here. I can see what I want to do is calculate. So I'm going to press F2, but I'm not going to press the one by yet. I'm just going to make sure that I've got it set correctly. So I want to take all the numbers from list one. I want their frequencies to be one. So this is set up like a table. But I want this. So it's just going to take the numbers from the list. So it's very important. Now I'm going to press one var. And I'm going to do a quick check. First of all, n equals 8. And that's the eight numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight numbers I've got in my list. So the mean is given by x bar, which is 3. OK, so there's my mean. My standard deviation is given here by the sigma. Now, this is the standard deviation for the list of numbers. The SX is something a little bit different. Okay, so we're going to take this one, the sigma X standard deviation is 5.20 if we round that off to two decimal places. And there's lots of other information on the calculator. Uh, it gives me the mean, mode, median, etc. But what I don't want to, what it hasn't given me rather, is the variance. So I need to come out of there, go into number one and do 5.2 squared and 27.04 is the variance, which is the standard deviation squared. So that's how I get that information from my GDC.